Music is a truly wonderful thing. And when life doesn't give you enough of it, sometimes you just got to commit suicide. But it's okay because I have multiple lives. And yes, that's exactly what I wanted. The music's back. Welcome back to Spyro 2. Today, we are going to finish up Cloud Temples, which we really charged through very quickly in the last episode. Didn't give it very much time to shine at all. So, as punishment for just kind of speed running through it, not giving it much time. That was very redundant. Uh, we're going to take on an orb challenge that I hated. Whoa! Nice screw up. That was funny. I'm a secret age. Whoop! <laughs> nice one. Uh, oh, damn it. The music's leached out entirely again. Oh. oh, no, wait. It's not. It's not. It's okay because we've got some pretty cool music right here. So basically, this is Agent Zero. You have to chase him to see his hideout to get the orb. But you've got to be stealthy all the way. And if he actually catches you, he makes kind of a... T tell you what, I will show that, actually. Because if he actually catches you, this used to amuse me quite a lot when I was a kid. I used to love that noise. I might better not catch you sneaking behind me. My hideout is for members only. Yeah, no problem at all. So, this is the way it goes. Hide behind the tree. Chase after him, but don't get too cocky. And, yeah, this always gave me a lot of trouble when I was a kid, just trying to figure out the exact route to go down so that he didn't see me. So, yeah, trees are your best friend in this game. Uh, whoa, 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 don't go crazy. You want to be very careful here. Now, these doors will close after a short while, so don't take too long. You've got to get through here pretty quickly. Don't bother with the gems. You can get those later. I don't remember the exit. Oh, whoa, don't go too far. I don't remember the exact route he goes here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Behind the tree, behind the tree. Perfect, Amundo. There we go. I don't overcharge it. There we go. Now we should be... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't turn, don't turn. Okay, here we go, here we go. That's the stuff. What? You managed to get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all. Here. Take this secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. Yeah, much like a lot of other challenges in this game, it's not as hard as it used to be when I was a kid, but it did give me a lot of trauma back when I was younger. I couldn't do it properly. Like, this is another instance where I actually needed a lot of uh, help from my parents. I don't remember if they actually ended up playing the level for me, or sorry, the orb challenge. I don't, rem I don't remember if they played it for me or if they were just sort of in the living room watching me, giving me helpful advice. I think it might have been the latter, but yeah, my parents are awesome. They've always been there to uh, motivate me whenever I was struggling with a video game. They're always here cheering me on. And Whoa, whoa, okay. Sorry about that. Um, they were there through every failure as well, but I don't want any more failures. That doesn't sound very fun at all. Alright, now there's some baskets up there, or caskets, whatever you want to call them. Um, let's see, how can we actually get to those? Can we get to them from here? I think we can. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we can. Um, yeah, it's not really a very efficient way. I think you're supposed to go from a higher standpoint, but... Whoa, I crashed into the ramp. Nice one. Yep, yeah, that's enough. That'll do. That is perfect. And, oh, okay. I couldn't tell where the gem was falling. It's a bit hard to predict sometimes. Now, okay. Uh, these guys that I haven't acknowledged yet. This has changed. We got these flame trolls right here. Once you've killed enough enemies, they should spawn for you. Run by trolls, and the bells haven't been rung in days. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but it just made them crazier. Yep, that'll do it. This super freeze power up will chill out the trolls. But we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them. So, for the first time in quite a while, we have a brand new power-up. Super Freeze is exactly what it sounds like. It will freeze them into an ice cube. Now, the trick to this is that you want to freeze a troll when it is uh, at the correct height. So right here, yeah, we could have frozen that troll while it was on the ground. 
But if we did that, then we wouldn't have been able to get up here. And, okay, let's see. There we go. I like how they got, like, um, really creepy smiles on their faces once you freeze them. Like, it's kind of funny, but at the same time, a little bit creepy. Right, damn it. There we go. Right, now, if I recall, once you've rung that bell, you want to ring the... There, what am I trying to say here? You want to ring this one over here, and yeah, that's it. One of the trolls runs over. There we go. Now, freeze him, and I think that should do it. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. No, oh, I thought I had to hover for a second, but no, nope, it's okay. We got it. And there's the... No, there's the... There it is. I suppose you want an orb for doing that. I do. I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. Yeah, he's really uh, twisting the knife in right there. I bet you want an orb. No! Thanks for nothing, man. All right, now before we do that, uh, I just want to knock around here, get some orbs, and I believe that there should be a firework rocket around here, which, uh, of course, we can't ignite with the super freeze power-up, so going to have to hold off on that for a sec. Okay, there it is. Yeah, just... Um, uh, just up there on the left for a second, there was a, uh, a firework rocket, which we can get to in a second. First, I think that should do it. There it is. And typical, his dialogue glitched out right at the worst possible moment, just as he's about to give me a reward and tell me about how awesome I am. Yeah, thanks for that. I just want to be happy and feel confident in my abilities, but no one will give me that. Right, okay, now let's see. We want to wait for that troll to come through here. Come on, come on. Just line it up. There we go. Now, oh, can we actually get this? I think we might need to hover. No, I was trying to hover. No, damn it. I'm trying to trigger a glide. No, oh, damn it. I keep doing a head bash. Okay, tell you what, let me try something different. Let me try just... Coming round the side of the, coming round the side of the building. There we go. Uh, it doesn't look as epic. Yeah, alternatively, right there, I could have used uh, a mechanic that I've not actually gotten into. Uh, something that I've actually neglected to mention for the whole entire Let's Play so far. There is actually a. Oh, we're missing. We're missing one gem. Typical. There is actually a uh, sort of glitch in this game that allows you to double jump if you. Hold down the jump bro bleh, if you hold down the jump button, sorry, and press the charge button at the correct time, you can sort of do a double jump. Like, let me try and do it right now. Oh, I think I did it just then. Like, I've never actually managed to nail the exact timing for it. It's always kind of okay. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. You gotta do it at the exact right time. That's it. That's the double jump and um, that is a, bleh, sorry, what am I trying to say here? I was going to say a feature, but it's, it's very much unintended, I think, so I can't really call it a feature. It's very much a glitch. Like, it wasn't meant to be there. Bleh, <clears throat> sorry, something in my throat. Can't talk. It's very much a, an element of the gameplay that wasn't meant to be there. So, yeah, it's very much a glitch, but it's been used and abused for speedruns by many players. So yeah, it's very useful, and right there we see the wizards getting their sweet revenge. That is awesome. Now, so far we've only been recording for about 11 minutes, so we got plenty of time to jump into another level. So, let me take a look at the guidebook, actually. Uh, do we have any of the other levels mentioned? No, we don't. Okay, well, there's only... Oh, hang on a second. Um, there should be three levels listed here, because we got uh, two regulars and one speedway. Okay, maybe the speedway actually doesn't appear until you've actually, um, uh, completed it. Is that how it works? I've not been paying attention to the guidebook very much. Maybe that is how it works. Well, okay, we got, a, we got one more speedway anyway, so what do you say we go through it? Canyon Speedway. And I think this is probably my least favourite. Ocean Speedway is pretty fun. Uh, Metro Speedway I really like. Icy Speedway I really like. Canyon, not a massive fan. Now, just to complete the quad vector, or whatever the word is, of uh, disappointments, what do you say we go through here? 
because as you can probably guess, four for four. Welcome to Canyon Speedway, Spyro. Right now I'm having a little engine trouble, but come back and talk to me when you've completed the course. Yep, every single time I sucked so badly at the speedway levels that I actually ended up finding the secret challenges before completing the speedways themselves. I was just that bad at these. I had I had more time to find the secret challenges than to complete the actual mandatory stuff. I was just that bad at doing everything in a time limit. Alright, now I'm pretty sure that this lava is uh, instant death. So you want to watch out for that. Now I believe it's tractors next. Or quad bikes, whatever these are. In which case... Oh, tell you what. No, I'm not going to break sequence. I'm going to continue with the... Um, the... What am I trying to say here? Uh, the... The theme, sorry. I'm going to continue with the theme that I've been doing here. I'm going to do this out of order. I'm going to get cocky, so I'm going to ignore those three bikes and go for the vultures. Because that's what I've been doing so far. I've been doing things horribly out of order. Now, what kind of Spyro player would I be if I chose to ditch that right at the end? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play extra, 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 extra cocky. Now, please show me a bike. Show me a bike. If I've screwed this up, I've screwed this up. Damn it, that could have been so cool looking. Ah, oh, damn it. No, no, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I have to do it like this. I have to do it out of order because that's how I've been doing it for all the other speedway levels. Come on, it's got to be. I know it's completely stupid, but I've got a system. I've got a theme going. I don't want to screw that up. This is just how I do things. Well, it's not normally. I don't normally do things like this on my own time, but just for the lulls of it, for the sake of uh, doing it differently, this is how I'm going to do it. Let's see. Uh, you know what? No, now let's do the rams. Because there we go. We've set the stage for an out-of-order speedway level. Oh, bike, bike, bike. Damn it, missed it. Oh, I totally could have gone for the bikes down there. Like I've not been creative enough with the out-of-order stuff, have I? I've really not been. I've not been putting enough thought into it. Oh, Oh, I was so tempted to go for the bikes just then, but I chickened out thinking, no, nah, I don't want two failures in a row. Okay, yeah, now we can just do things normally. And wow, nice slow descent onto the charging uh, track there, Spyro. Oh, hang on, hang on. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous, get a little bit scared. I don't know the lyrics. There we go. That could have been a disaster. Uh oh. This oh, this is going to be a disaster in a second. No, nope, no, nope. you, there we go, legend. Oh, if I'd kept going along in a straight line, that would have been disastrous. All right, there we go, retry. Um, no thanks, because I'm going to go do the secret challenge. And this one is a bit of a doozy, actually. Uh, so far, we've not actually had very much trouble with the speedway challenges. This one is quite a toughie, actually. Hunter, why don't you explain? Right, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. Pretty sure. Um, I don't like the sound of that, but, um, well, we're all going to die eventually. Might as well go out with a bang. Okay, Spyro. Here's what you've got to do. I've got the plane on remote control, so all you have to do is hit the targets with your machine gun. Go to fire the gun. Nice. Nice dialogue glitch right there. So, don't miss any targets, just keep holding circle. And the music's gone, so all we got is the nice sound effects, which are actually a little bit ear-piercing, to be honest. Right, okay, this is a tough one. Yet, yeah, some of these are very, very dodgily placed, like that one right there. There was no way that anyone was going to get that on the first try, although I somehow managed to get it right there, in which case I feel very proud of myself, because that's a diabolical one. Trying to preemptively predict where they're going to appear. Now, there should be another blimp coming out through here in a second. No, not yet. I think it comes through here. There should be a blimp. Yep, there it is. There's the blimp. Yeah, this is a very tough one. I, I always struggled with this as a kid. I think this is definitely the hardest uh, Speedway secret challenge in the game. They saved the worst for last... Oh, damn, boy. Damn, 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 damn. I've botched it. I've botched... Oh, have I? Have I? 
Oh, yes, we're coming around for one more shot. Blimps, double blimp. Yes, there we go. I'm impressed with that. Hey, you nailed all of the targets. Thank you for noticing. You had such a good pilot. Yeah, that good pilot had no idea what he was doing. Some of that requires pinpoint accuracy reaction time. Pinpoint accurate reaction time, sorry, not accuracy. That's not how you're English, you numpty. Oh, that, uh, that is a difficult challenge. I'm impressed with myself that I actually got through it without too much trouble. That's good. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So, uh, let me just take a quick look at the guidebook, actually. See if that... Whoa! Whoa, 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 mother! <laughs> um... <laughs> The, uh, the, the glitches don't stop in this recording se uh, session. Okay, the, the guidebook just had a seizure. Like, the guidebook needs an exorcism now. Pazuzu's made his home right here on the disc. Nice one. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, okay, we've got two choices here. Uh, Robotica Farms I'm not a big fan of, so I think we'll save that for the very last. We're going to go through here to the Professor. I can see you've learned the value of orb spiral. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of my orbs. Make of that what you will. I just turned that into an innuendo. Nice one. Come on, the internet was going to do it anyway. You've, I, I've seen the YouTube comments section. I've been, I've been searching through comments of YouTube videos for years now. I, I know how you all work. You're all horrible people. And so am I, because I use that comment section as well. Yeah, there you go. Everyone in the YouTube comment section has a horrible, dirty mind. What an age we live in. Right, okay, here we go. Metropolis. This is one of my uh, personal favourites in the last world. It's got great music, and uh, it's got some pretty fun challenges in it. We'll just talk to this dude first. This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. The insurrection from the farms. I don't know what that word means. Well, I know that this um, I know that this level is full of farm animals. And right here we got uh, the force fields of return from Spyro One, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I know that there's farm animals in this level. Like we saw a pig right at the start, and we got a cow right over there with a laser gun. So yeah, watch out for him. Ow. I told you to watch out for him, Spyro, you dunce. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what the um, word insurrection means, but yeah, something about farms. Uh, something's gone off regarding animals. we got to fix it. Um, tell you what, we've been recording for a little while. I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to go on to Google and look at what the word insurrection means. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.